Hey, still recording. everybody today is st patrick's day march 17th 2022 we are really starting this big lake hillside project that we have going on first thing i want to tackle is to get a drive that you can actually take a car or a truck right down to the lake from the field up here down to the lake is about a 70 80 foot drop descent uh, depending on where you start and where you end i've been trying to figure out the right way to do this you know and i think we're gonna clear out the fallen timber first, just the old rotting wood, everything that's laying down. Kind of push that clear out of the way. Gonna be using a tractor and a skid steer. This is gonna be a multi-part series for sure. But we're gonna use the grapple right now, clear that stuff out of the way, maybe come back with a tree puller or a stump wrecker or something, pop out trees, use either a brush hog, mulcher to kind of clear off all the, the brambles and the other undergrowth. Then come through, start grading out the topsoil, getting that out of here, bringing in a bunch of gravel, stone. We have a lot of feathering to do around the, the lake edge just to make it accessible. There's just a lot of fallen timber there and a fairly steep descent too, but we wanna open that up. And then we're gonna work on this whole hillside too, just clearing out most of the trees. This time of year is great. You can see the natural terrain changes that you can't otherwise see when the leaves are all on, when the ground, you know, if it's a steep drop off or a gradual drop off, it's just so hard to see, but you can see everything this time of year. So this is the biggest project that I've ever taken on. That's without a doubt. So there's gonna be things that may, may not work, but we're gonna learn as we go, try a lot of different equipment and have a lot of fun. Now we may not do it in today's video, but working on hills like these in our tractor is a great reason why I like to have wheel spacers on my tractor whenever possible. And we are sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers for that very reason, they really add stability to your tractor. So if you feel like you're really tippy on the side, side to side, wheel spacers do make a big difference. We are sponsored by Bora. You buy directly from them. They're made in America, have a lifetime warranty. Get more information at the link below. Alrighty guys, feels good to be working in the woods. That's the nice thing too about the track steer. A little muddy on these hills. You know, the tractor I think would do better than the skid steer in this kind of situation. Mind you, a skid steer, not a track steer. But the skid steer is so heavy with those tires, it just sinks down, it gets stuck. I think the tractor would do better. Lighter machine. But it is hard to beat. Hard to beat. The 333G. Got another one down here, pick this up. Debris gravel makes you feel like you can do just about anything. Well, that and this 333G. So I'm trying to go extra wide on everything I'm clearing out again because we're trying to. The thought is that you know, drive a car right down to the lake down that way. Uh, yeah, drive right down there. You know, I'm taking on the type of work that I've, on a scale, I should say, that I've never done. You know, I've been fortunate to watch a lot of those really good YouTube channels out there. Andrew Camarada, Dirt Perfect, and so on, that all have a lot of really good videos. Kind of the unintentional how-to. So hopefully I picked up on a lot of that kind of information. I was on this hillside 
like I'm out right now with a tractor kind of sideways I would feel like I was gonna fall right over but in the skid steer there's such a low center of gravity so much weight that's down low it's wide you just feel so much more stable I love tractors, don't get me wrong, but I love my skid steer. Alright, let's move a little further down here. Something's gonna have to come back after we get the tree puller in. Rip out some stuff.
gotta take a look at this GoPro. I ran over it with the skid steer. Oops. But the, uh... Hey, still recording. So step one is done. Actually did a really good job. I mean, the skid steer is just unbelievable, but uh, so is this grapple. Did a really good job clearing things out. So next step, either order, either use the tree puller or we could uh, brush hog or mulch down through here. Um, I don't, I guess I don't see it mattering a whole lot either way. We'll probably have to come back with the grapple afterwards and clean up all the, the leftovers at that point. But I'm kind of feeling like maybe uh, trying to run the brush hog down here clean this stuff up, then get the tree puller, and then maybe clean that up and start grading out. So I don't know how long this path is. I'll have to measure it out. I would guess it's in the several hundred foot range, give or take a bit there. And, uh, and again, we're dealing with a hillside here, about 70, 80 foot up here, all the way down to the lake. Um, if you can pan around behind me, you can see all this area that we're going to be clearing out. And I'm probably going to want to work my way uphill versus downhill, just a lot, lot more stable with the machine, whether it's a tractor or the skid steer. There's actually some standing water. It's, it's pretty wet right in this current area that, we, that we're at right now too, but um, this is going to be a, a big project to tackle overall. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more. I'm going to show this project start to finish along with a lot of others out here. And we sell tractor attachments, well, skid steer attachments as well. So if you need a grapple for your tractor or your skid steer, anything else for the front end loader, anything for the three point hitch, we're happy to help. We sell and ship attachments all across the country every day of the week. Get more information, pricing, and purchase at goodworkstractors.com. So thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.